Well, we're now joined by Jiang Xiao. He's head of China strategy at Macquarie Securities. Jiang, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Well, what do you make of what we're seeing at the moment after that great run up at the start of this year? We're just having a bit of a gut check right now. And uh, where do we go? Sure. Um, the, the market is understandably is going through a consolidation phase. And uh, we have done some uh, analysis on firm flow. And our firm flow analysis suggested that uh, we may have a very nice summer. We're expecting a rally in the summertime. Of course, over the next two months, we may continue to go through this consolidation phase. So, I mean, when you talk about consolidation phase, you're talking about a phase where we will see a few declines, but not albeit by that much, but it, we're going to be having some basing going on. Is that right? That's absolutely right. And uh, our valuation work suggested that the stocks are still cheap. And this earnings season has not been great, and we have seen a lot of negative earnings downgrades. However, what's important is not the absolute change of earnings to the downside. What's important is the rate of change. And the rate of change has bottomed last Q4. That's give us extra confidence that the market should move up from here after the consolidation phase. All right. So hold off. Get in there in a couple of months' time. That's, that's your advice, is it? Absolutely. And it, what it's, what's important is to position for the next leg of rally to get out of certain stocks, get into others. So it would it be the ones which have been left behind that you get into when, in a couple of months' time? Or is it a bit more... You know, so, how can I say it's superior to that? Right. We have actually a thematic play for the for, for this year. The way we see how this year is going to play out is in four distinctive phases. Phase one is liquidity loosening, which is happening now through Q2. Phase two is all about consumption stimulus, which has just begun and is going to last through Q2, Q3. Phase three is all about infrastructure investment revival which is going to be Q2, Q3 as well. And lastly, we're going to the phase four, which is property policy loosening. To position for these four phases, we're recommending our investors, our clients, to overweight in four sectors. Uh, these are consumer discretionary, autos, Macau gaming, and cement. Okay, cement for the infrastructure, Macau for everybody getting gambling, and of course they're consumer discretionary because the people's pockets will be lined a bit more, so they will buy stuff that uh, they wouldn't necessarily do. But I... Uh, don't get your auto play this, sir, because, I mean, we do see a lot of restrictions on car buying, particularly in Tier 1 cities. Mm -hmm. The Chinese auto market is going to go through a secular growth. That's our view. And, of course, last year was not a great year for auto. But let's not forget, before last year, the Chinese auto market growth was easily in the double digits. Oftentimes, it was above 20%. We, as, as a house, were expecting at least 10% growth for the next decade. And we already start to see some of the policies rolled out, out of Beijing. For example, reducing the taxes for uh, energy-saving auto purchases. Um, and also government launched some programs to protect, in some ways, the domestic automakers. Okay, very quickly, you downgraded your banks, though. And we saw Bank of Communications come out with a what, near 30% rise in net profits here. Mm -hmm. Why so? The, the, the bank group has done quite well year to date, uh, joined the rally with the market. Uh, the concern on the bank side are, are two major concerns. One is the capital raising by lots of banks, as, as you know. And another renewed concern is on NPL. Last week, the regula regulators in China highlighted that 20% of the loan to LGFV perhaps don't have as high credit as some of the banks claim. Young, I want to go through, we've just got very little time. These are your stock picks, of course. Uh, we have China National Building Material, cement, that right. fits into that. Sands China fits into your gambling theme. Petro China into your energy theme, which mm -hmm. wasn't actually there, but never mind. Uh, and also maker of train power converters, Zhu Zhao. Oh, Zhu Zhu CSR, that's for the railway infrastructure yeah. theme, uh, 3898 HK. Right. Uh, well, Jung, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Jung, uh, shout that from uh, Macquarie Bank.